If your city frequently faces floods during the wet season and droughts during the dry season, the clever you would think to install a faucet on the nearby river to manually regulate water flow. You dig a breach and a bend in the river, naming it the fish mouth, splitting the river into two. You hope part of the river flows gently through the fish mouth into the city for domestic and agricultural use. However, if the water volume is too large, the entire city and farmlands could be completely submerged. So, the clever you decides to extend the fish mouth, like a long sword dividing the river into two. The inner river, dug deeper but narrower, and the outer river, shallower but wider. During the dry season, when water levels are low, the limited water flows through the deeper inner river into the fish mouth, ensuring water for the city's domestic and agricultural needs. During the wet season, when water levels rise, the wider outer river allows more water to pass through, preventing floods from rushing into the fish mouth. But if the flood is larger than usual, it could still breach the fish mouth, submerging the city in a sea of water. The clever you then digs another channel between the fish mouth and the outer river to divert excess flood water, keeping the city and farmland safe. However, the river carries sediment, which over time raises the riverbed and could lead to a dam breach. So, every dry season, when the riverbed is exposed, you mobilize the entire city to clear the silt and repair the embankments. Only in this way can the smooth operation of this entire flood control and irrigation system be ensured. Congratulations, you've invented the Dujiangyan irrigation system.